and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Vi. Uh, this is going to be a, another donation deck where we're going to be using um, a new champion, Tarek, with its ability to support. We're hopefully going to be able to support Vi. And we're going to combine these with a couple of cool things. So we're going to combine these two with Sumpworks map. Sumpworks map with Tarek does seem pretty awesome where you can grant Tarek elusive. And then whenever Tarek has its support ability, you copy that spell. So you grant the other uh, thing that you're supporting elusive as well. So that's that's a pretty neat little trick there. Um, and then, of course, Sunpark's map is, is obviously awesome with Vi. We're also going to be using Zenith Blade, where we can give it plus one, plus two, and Overwhelm, where we can give like the Tarek Overwhelm and have that support over to the Vi as well. So to, to kind of go with this, we're also going to have a little gem sub package with like Mentor of the Stones with the Last Breath getting us a whole bunch of gems. But then, of course, the supported ally plus two plus twos, you know, support works really well with Tarek, um, but still giving like Vi plus two plus two is pretty awesome as well. So we're going to have that and we're going to have Gift Givers. So we're going to be able to create some gems with these cards and and uh, besides being able to use the gems with Tarek, which is really good, we're going to have a little discard package. So we're going to have um, three rummage to be able to go through our deck to find our champions, um, two urchins, and a sump dredger in here as well that we can discard these extra gems that we're creating to be able to draw more cards so we can get good card advantage with the gems. Um, then we also have a couple other things that are good to discard with jury rig and flame chompers as well. Um, I do like flame chompers with mentor of the stones. That's a nice combo. Um, and of course, flame chompers with gems. Also pretty good, especially when we're getting the Flame Chompers in play for, for free, um, you know, with discarding, with Rummage, and Urchin, and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, so that's what we got. We got a little interaction with Mystic Shot, Hush, Gotcha, those kind of cards as well. Um, Pale Cascade is just an all-star, so this should be a pretty fun little deck. We're going to go play our five games over in Ranked, and we will see how we do with Tarek Vi. Sejuani Gangplank. It's going to be a pretty aggressive deck. I would prefer them not to have their champions if I could just choose something. I prefer them not to have those champions. All right, those other three cards were like, you know, fine, but not, nothing special. I'm just going to mulligan those. Keep the Vi, keep my champion. Vi is a great one to have in the opener because you, you can continually grow Vi as you play new cards. Lucky you. I'm the last thing you'll see. I'll be quick. That's a good card to have on turn one. It's something that I would love for them to draw on like turn four, turn five, turn six. You know, right? Like, right? Like that's what I want them drawing. But turn one, it is pretty good. Ooh. If only we had a rummage in this hand. We could rummage away the flame chompers and the jury rig and then put the gem on the flame chompers and eat the cutthroat. That would be pretty awesome. As it is, I think I just attack. And we'll just pass turn. Rewarded. Hmm. All right, now we're gonna just pale cascade this thing. Protector, shield me. And just block these. Have the gem to put on the flame chompers next turn to kill that thing. I just don't want to attack with this with make it rain. Um, yeah, so I'm just I'm just gonna save this mana. Like we can we can definitely use spell mana for other things. Just gonna save that. Yeah. 
and they have leveled up these Sejuani's and Gangplanks super fast. My life will be a lot better if they don't have their champions. Unfortunately, that's not going to be an option. But my life would be a lot better if they didn't have them. I mean, I go Zenith Blade on the Sump Dredger. That gets my Sump Dredger up to 5 health. Or 5 power. That can take down the Gangplank. You do get a new Zenith Blade. They still get oh they still get the level up with the gangplank. Maybe I shouldn't have just played that jury rig. Should have saved it for Urchin. Please don't have such Wani. So I'm trying to get the Vi up to 10. So it will level up. Kind of feels with that play that they have another Gangplank, that they want to play another Gangplank after combat. Oh no, a Jack the Winner? Oh, that makes my life a lot worse. Ouch. Gangplank wouldn't have been bad, because I, you know, I just challenged the... the O1 that it creates. Not good. I promised a blood boss. Who likes that on, eh? So that obviously didn't work. I should have just got the nine damage in. I should have just attacked for nine. I had that opportunity to. Um this you know, this this is a card that really punished me for not attacking. And plus with having the Sunperks map anyway, I sh should just attack for nine. Fight or die. Move it. Don't worry. I am here. Well, I do like seeing that Tarek. I am reborn of salt and pride. So 10, 12. I really wish I would have attacked for 9. We would have this game. That was dumb of me. 10, 12, Off with you. 13, 14, yeah, just attack for 9. Don't know how I'm going to do the rest of this damage that I need to. Fighting's a bloody business. Barrel. You wanted wrath. So I can do 13 damage. gem you bestow reflects the beauty of our world. Each is made in your name, Protector. So I can do 13. 
obviously there's the Demacia Dragon, but then the fight cards from Demacia are really strong with the single combat and concerted strike. Those are awesome when paired with Fury. So you'll know my channel, that's what I do, is I try out tons and tons of new things all the time, and, and a lot of other people are too, and we're all just kind of trying stuff. And I'm going to keep this hand. I like all of these cards. Let's just try this. Gotcha can kill Lulu. Mystic Shot can take down Flea Feather Tracker. Or whatever other support card they have. Let's go with this. The Flame Chompers plus Gem is a good way to take down at Young Witch. Oh, I can't have Gotcha right now. I was thinking I was going to have Gotcha. Break their spirits and their swords. That's fine. This way. That's fine. So the question is, do I want to go pick pocket plus some forks map? The answer is yes. And hit them, even though it does likely mean. They'll be able to kill this on the way back. Yuck. <clears throat> That's obviously not good for me. So I want to play the Zenith Blade on my Kempunk Pickpocket, but if I do that and then they're able to kill the Kempunk Pickpocket anyway, that's going to be bad news. Not exactly sure how they would do that right now. They would need like a repost or something similar. Or a Lulu. Gotcha, why'd I draw you last turn? I want to draw you this turn. I find them oh, Alright, so the good news is... Protégé is dead. A protégé would not have been dead before. Bad news is the Shen now levels up and we're dead. Good news, Lulu's out of here. With me. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. These woods belong to us. I sense an imbalance. Their Darn it. I was hoping they were gonna do that. GG's. 
it definitely didn't work out for me. You know, they had a, a really good strong hand, a good curve. Um, you know, just a really good curve. And then, you know, I, I hard cast uh, the O2. And then right after I hard cast it, we draw some treasure. Things did not work out for me. And they had a really strong curve. I just never got good use out of the gotchas either. That's always awkward when I hard cast flame chompers and then immediately draw some treasure. This is working out better though. We actually, you know, get good use out of the flame chompers. Get to draw a card. We are up a card, and our board is better so far. This is exactly what we want to be doing. You know, getting good use out of our some treasure and our gems and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to just Mystic Shot this thing. My best card to play. And I will pass priority. Be able to have, because I'm, you know, probably want to play Vi next turn, right? If we play Vi next turn, maybe we have Pale Cascade available also to help protect Vi. tapped out. We're going to go with plan B. Plan B is They say these were from the protector himself. Play Kempunk pickpocket and get a free spell. Especially the deck we're playing against, they have some awesome spells. And there's one of them. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm a people. Twisted Fate's the great equalizer. Tough swinging them big fists around by. Stick around. I'll show ya. Are right, gonna cast the Zenith Blade right now while we know it's gonna resolve. We'll draw another. Oh no 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 no! It's not Daybreak. We won't draw another. All right, still cast that though. I don't think they have anything. Right, like I don't think they're gonna have anything that's gonna stop this from happening. Stop this from killing them. Well, we could go Sumpark's map and then not not risk the Flame Chompers. We'll just have the Hush and the Vault Breaker. I don't know exactly what we'll need with those. All right, GGs. There we go. Our deck definitely, the plan definitely came together better with that game. That was a really impressive game and just a really impressive victory over 
a deck I, I really struggle against. So really good showing last time from our Tarek Vi deck. We'll see if it's the same kind of showing this time, playing against the same deck again. We're going to go ahead and mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. Kind of want to keep that Flame Chompers. Let's see, I have six cards that discard. So I would need to draw one of the six to really make the Flame Chompers worth it. So that means probably not worth it to keep. Our pickpocket hit them last time, but I can't imagine that that's going to be something that happens a majority of the time. Pickpocket hitting. This would be a good spot for a rummage. Be a nice one mana draw too. Okay, okay. Not bad either. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Huh. If I had four mana, I'd play the pickpocket if we could have the Mystic Shot available for that as well. I'm not going to gem my Flame Chompers. Okay, so if I, if I cast Mystic Shot and kill the Powder Keg, then we keep two 1-2s alive. If I, and, but they'll be 1-1s. One so basically, is it worth turning Mystic Shot into two 1-1s? One -ones? I think that answer is no, that is not worth turning Mystic Shot into two 1-1s. One -ones. Man, they're still passing. Could definitely see Twisted Fate. Red card, but then we just get more gems to rummage away. How oh, lucky. <laughs> get that gift giver. That's pretty nice, turning that thing into a 2-4. Talk about cards I was not expecting. 4-100. So let's just say they blocked with Petty Officer on my Mentor the Stones. I was going to Mystic Shot after they blocked. I was going to Mystic Shot the Petty Officer. Where's our champions? We're looking for them. There's one. Is it worth playing this one right now? Don't worry. I guess. I here. No, I don't know. I don't know if these are like the best gotcha targets. As far as if I should have used gotcha while well, it costs two mana. So if they try to Ravenous Flock my 2-4, I can hush it, right? Um, so I'm going to cast 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so we're just going to be playing these things. I'd rather trade Mystic Shot with these than Pickpocket. Like, this is going to work, right? I, I hush the Taric if they have Ravenous Flock. I think that would work. Uh, 
Um, nobody's let me know in chat, so I guess we're just going to find out. I think this works. Yay. No. Yeah, so I'm just going to use the Hush. I, I can play just one card. So basically by playing the Hush on the Keg now, that keeps the Flame Chompers alive. So the Flame Chompers can block a 3-2. Um... That was definitely the worst possible case scenario. From... They had... Uh, the best news is they only have one card, I guess. And now we are pretty far behind. Alright, I shouldn't have played this Flame Chompers. I shouldn't have played that. Oh, I don't know. So, I mean, obviously, my options are, are Flame Chompers. Try to go Zenith Blade. Try to hit. Try to go Zenith Blade on the pickpocket, you know, with the Powder Keg. Hit them, draw a card. Unity. Worry that would actually work. We'll go this route. So if I would have gone that route, I could have had Pale Cascade instead of playing this Flame Chompers. Never lost a fair game. Who says I don't share? Okay, well, I would have played that and then played Zenith Blade and they would have just gold carded it. So that would not have been great either. This game it was, um, you know, a bunch of what's the worst they could have they had ever since I played that Taric. Okay, one and three. I like our deck though, it's a pretty fun one to play and, and it, we can do some cool stuff with our deck. I like it. It's a nice little deck. That was pretty good. We have the attack token on turn four. So we have like pickpocket on two, some dredger on three, Tarek on four. We could have. Oh, I guess on four we couldn't sump orcs map Tarek and then give it to pickpocket in that scenario. A little love for those who need it. Be brave. No, Vlad. I don't know what. One turn kill Trundle means. Take from the rich, give to me. No, I haven't. I haven't seen any kind of deck like that. I haven't tried any kind of deck like that. They say these were from the protector himself. Valor. Don't know how much I'm, I really need to try to protect this Kempunk pickpocket. Let's just play the Zenith Blade where we draw another Zenith Blade. That sounds good. Well, at least we drew another Zenith Blade. But of course, they drew another card with Pell Cascade being awesome. Don't be calling no enforcers. Just borrow it. Be brave. I'm ready 
Just don't have stuff to do. We need our mentor of the stones. Get some gems. Truly honored, Protector. You honor me with every blessing you give. No, there there won't be any kind of news about the other Call of the Mountain set champions for a long time. Maybe. Admire me later. Can't bite on an empty stomach. So I think this next turn I'm going to be going Sump Dredger on the Zenith Blade. Hell Cascade is broken. Yeah, that card is so good. <laughs> I guess I got one in hand. But I want to Sump Works map my stuff. Close to leveling up the Taric. <laughs> I know it says 0, and 0 out of 7, but I could do 6 right here. We could do 6 pretty easily. I don't think we can do 7. No, I can't really do 7. We could do 6. Alright, let's play... Alright, no, we don't need to do the gift giver. Right, I'll just do this. So basically, if I if I discard the gift giver, that that does count as another um, thing for the Terex. So that'd be like, you know, step one. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Okay. Every gem you bestow reflects the beauty. Well, re repost won't matter because we're going to be using Sumpworks map. What matters is that saying single combat. So they had all three Pale Cascades. They had all three of them. My well, plan was Sumpworks map. I'm glad they didn't wait, but... Beauty. So at least they can't have any more Pale Cascades. Hey, I love this game. Glad you're streaming. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, um, yes, I did play Lulu Shen. Played it twice. First time it went better than the second time. Um, the journey is difficult. These will protect you. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. Oh man, I wish I had another mana with this hush. Hmm, wish we had one more mana with this hush. You name it, I'll nick it. <laughs> you spurn my gift. Alright, mention the stones can't die. Protector, shield me. You spurn my gift. I'm gonna just go block block. Block that thing. I'm just gonna throw these things away. I'm gonna save the hush for the next turn. Next time, whenever they attack, I can like hush everything. I like the cut of your gem. Instead of playing it right now. Submit. All right, hit him for five. Get one of their spells. Why? Okay. 
you know, you don't have to have the best card you can have all the time, you know. You don't have to. Won't someone help this poor soul? So I can cast four hushes next turn? Or three hushes in a single combat? That'll be good. Hush like three things and block them. It's kind of unnecessary too. Yeah, at all their pill cascades. Bunch of single combats. Probably isn't going to work out that well for us, but, you know, we're going to try. Must die. Never submit. I don't, so I guess I didn't need to do the dragon. Obviously, I should have just done one of these with the other one. I changed my mind. In there, I was going to just do that with the dragon and then decided to do that the other way. So obviously, I, I should have just done it with one of these, but... Oh, well. My my hope here is we draw our other Sumpworks map. Sumpworks map. Oh, my gosh. I'm doing this my way. We drew Sumpworks map. I mean, that was my... I mean, so it really didn't matter which one of those I killed. That was, like, our, our out was drawing Sumpworks map. Hopefully they are out of fight. Yay! Alright, well... I messed up the turn before, but... That's all we needed was that Sumpworks map. <laughs> oh, all right. So, yeah, we got to... Uh, I mean, that's why we're playing three Sumpworks maps, right? Like, we had one earlier, so we had we had two left in the deck. Um, I don't know. Hush didn't seem like that great for our deck. It was kind of awkward a lot of times. It's not really helping us out that much, to be honest. But um, I just kind of liked how our deck played. I liked... This is definitely one you need to play more and get even more practice in. I even played a, a couple practice games with this deck even before this, but this is just one that it's pretty tricky. All of like the different uh, little decisions and sequences and stuff. This is a pretty tricky one to play. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's a uh, uh, Tarek and Vi together, and uh, that was pretty cool. Um, didn't get to Sumpworks map. I mean, we did get to Sumpworks map Tarek and then put it on, you know, like a pickpocket. And that was awesome. That got us a single combat. But we didn't get to do it with Vi. But we also just got to Sumpworks map Vi a couple of times. So cards like Sumpworks map and Zenith Blade. Another, like, downside is sometimes they don't really do very much. If your opponent's just killing all of your units, you don't really need a Sumpworks map or a Zenith Blade, right? Like, because they're just killing all of your units. And so that's another good reason to play rummages and urchins and stuff like that like ways to filter through the deck these are other cards that you could filter and same with hush i thought that hush you know how it creates the fleeting hush in, in hand all the time that could be another card for rummage but that 
didn't really play out like that. Um, yeah, maybe maybe replace one hush with a jury rig, or I kind of wanted another another discard outlet. So like maybe playing the third urchin or second um, second sump dredger. I think maybe that instead of the hush. Like I just want wanted another discard outlet. That's what it felt like. Um, it felt like we had more cards to discard than the filtering gave us, because you know like the gift giver gives us those gems. And the Mentor of the Stones gives us those gems. And we can keep filtering all those. And basically look for our combo with, like, Tarek, Vi, Sumpworks map to uh, kill him. The Zenith Blade was, like, pretty meh, to be honest. Zenith Blade was pretty meh. Definitely not as good as, as like, Sumpworks map and the other parts. Yeah, or the other option. Yeah, we could definitely go Sketcher um, also. Um, I wasn't sure what would be better of Urchin or Sketcher. I kind of felt that, like, for our deck for winning, that I think I kind of feel like drawing cards. Um, so going uh, Urchin, some treasure. I actually think that's better than Sketcher. A couple of things. One, the two one body is a lot better than the one one, right? So Urchin's a lot better than Sketcher. Like that, that is a big, big difference. A two one and a one one. But then this, this gets you a really good value card. Sure, with a Celestial card that costs three or less. Like those are pretty good cards. But they don't really help our combo, right? And I think that digging and drawing cards and getting to our combo is more important than just a, a nice little value card. Um, so I so I, I would recommend keeping Urchin and, and that kind of stuff over Sketcher. This not only has a better body, but I think with, with this kind of being a combo-rific deck, uh, I think that the draw is more important than the just Invoke. Yeah, it yeah, Zenith Blade. Zenith Blade could probably be cut from the deck. Yeah, I think so. Um Yeah, it's not spectacular. Um I probably would have rather had just like, you know, some blessed vigor instead a lot of the time. Honestly. But alright, there we go. That's Tarek Vi. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this donation deck. Um, and of course, other decks you want to see, anything else like that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.